Hello there folks. In this quick little demo we're going to show how to create the stoplight uh, example that I do in some of my classes. So a stoplight has uh, three things, a red light, yellow, and a green light. And in this case our stoplight might have a street label as well. So first I'm going to go over to uh, data tags on the left and also this is a I'm going to create a widget of this when it's all finished. So first I'm going to go over to data tags on the left here and I'm going to create three flag tags because the stoplights are just on or off so they're going to be a flag type tag so I'll hit pull down little pull down area here and create a flag tag and I'll call the first one red I'll go ahead and hit the new button because it'll copy what we just did there and I'll create another one called yellow and then I'll create another one and call, call this one green these will be my three tags that will control the stoplight and then I'm also going to create another uh, uh, tag here a string tag that's the street name so I'll hit the pole down here and I'll choose a string tag and I'm going to call this one street underscore name for instance this will be our label okay let's go down to display pages actually I'll give this uh, before I do that I'm actually going to give a street name here fixed for right now to be a constant so over here in the source I'll hit the pull down and choose the word general and when I choose general I can create a constant by doing quotations and let's say first oops first av like that end quotations and when I hit enter you'll see that the street name over here becomes yellow because now it's a formula tag equal to this constant right here okay let's go to display pages now on the left and we're gonna go ahead and create a little stoplight uh, picture and I'm gonna use over in the right hand side of crimson I'm gonna to go to primitives I'll go to my home directory of my primitives so I can see my listing of categories here notice there's uh, not a directory of widgets here but and we're gonna come down to we're gonna use the indicators so I'll go into indicators here there's all these pre-built colored ones doesn't matter which one you pick I'm gonna click on maybe the glossy light one just for example because I'm using that as a tool and so I'll grab maybe the red one out here and I'll drop it here right there however I want this to look more like a stoplight so I'll double click on this guy and notice that over here in the right hand side of crimson it automatically takes you to symbol factory because it gives you a chance to change these pictures right now so if I go into the category over here on the right into I believe gadget lights 2 directory gadget lights 2 directory you'll see that there's some pictures of red stoplights amber and green so I'm gonna take this red on click on it and hold my right click or my left clicker down and drag and drop it right there that'll change that picture and then I'll drag the red off and drag it there now I'm also gonna change the maintain aspect because I want it to fill in completely here so it doesn't have to be perfect I'll do that and the only thing I need to do is I need to change the tag here to red so if I go over here to the lower uh, right hand side of data tags on the right side and take the red guy and drag it out here like so that takes care of this one being linked to the red tag now I got this on the screen I'll make this maybe a little bigger move it over here I'm going to attempt something here I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do the smart duplicate and then I'm gonna double click on this one and see what happened ah perfect smart duplicate automatically grabbed the next tag in line which is perfect and I'll right click on this one here again and do it once again and look it chose the green and notice what I did there is I double clicked on it or you can right click and go to properties so this one's the yellow one the only thing I need to change is my pictures so I will go over here to the right and I'll drag the amber off right there and I'll drag the amber on right in the on picture and that's the yellow and this should change to no I want to know that's right and then I'll do the same with this guy here as well this is the green the bottom one so I'll drag the green off right there and I'll drag the green on right here I click OK the last thing I want to do is I want to put my street name tag right up in here for this little tool so I'll go over here to the right side and I'll click data tags on the right side and I'll just drag my street name tag out like this however I don't want to see the name of the tag I want to see the actual value right here so I'm going to double click on this guy to bring up its properties 
and right here where it says contents label and data I'm gonna hit the pull down and just choose the data value I just want to see the street name and then I'll click OK and then I'll make this box maybe a little smaller and I'll move it over here so it kinda of fits like this if I want to make that font bigger I can just click on it one time in the halfway point this ghosted box comes up and I'll make it a little bigger like that okay there we've got our stoplights if you want to make them line up you can just click on this thing and hit the down arrow a few and then you can hit the bottom one and you can hit the up arrow just a few to move it one pixel at a time so that it all looks like they match or they're in together so now that I've got that done I'm going to go ahead and group this together like so I've got it to group so then I've, I've highlighted all notice what I did here I'll do it again I take my mouse a little bit above everything and I go ahead and encapsulate everything like that and then I'll right click and I'll do group that puts it all together in one form so it's all continuous and it keeps their positioning all together now the next step is I want to right click on this thing notice as they're all highlighted I'm going to right click on the whole thing and down here below the fourth thing from the bottom is the word widgetize click on the word widgetize and then right here we're going to define some this is the goal is to define some widgets so I'll click here this thing has four elements in it so I'll hit the edit button and I'll put in the number four here and then hit enter and now I'm going to define these as red yellow and I'm manually typing these here green oops green and this one here will be street underscore name notice that Crimson shows you over here your tag names because if you name them the same here and eventually do this folder binding the goal is to take these tags that might be a little bit later in a folder and drag and drop them on here the description is just a text box I'm gonna get rid of all those and then as far as data types all of these are even though they're a flag they're a part of an integer except for the street name is gonna be a string type and since all of these tags are going to be basically read only, I'm going to hit the pull down here and define, define them all as just tags. All right. The last step here is this section right here called folder binding. I'm going to go ahead and enable this, which is going to allow me to grab a folder of all these tags and drag and drop it on this widget and have it link up. So I'll do that and I'll click the OK button down here now look there's stuff here I'll click the OK button once again look at my lights are all on now that's kinda of weird and look I lost this thing here because these things all lost their link to the real tags and now they're linked to what's called widget tags so what I'm gonna do I'll, I've already got a highlight once you get the red around it I'm gonna go to the organized pull down menu and do save widget and I'm gonna call this one stoplight for instance whatever you do here make sure you let it go into the, the uh, default directory because this is where crimson's looking for widget files so I'm gonna load it there and hit save And once I do that over here in the right side in primitives if I go to the home directory of my primitives you'll see there's actually a directory now called widgets there it is so now if I go over to data tags on the left hand side and I'm gonna create a folder here this is the folder button right here I got a folder and I'm gonna call this one uh, first underscore av and then I'm just gonna take these tags and drag and drop them into this folder doesn't matter what order I put them in just as long as they're in the folder once I've got them in the folder if I right click on the whole folder up above and do copy and then control V as in Victor to paste I can get another av I can do another one Av2, Av3, and so forth. So if I go to say Av2, I'm going to get rid of this first Av1 here. Yep. If I go to Av2 and change the street name, I can call this second Av, for instance. There's that guy. This is going to be third Av, so I might change it as well. And this one here will be fourth Ave. Alright, 
So I've got now a series of streets, and what I want to do is I want to create four stoplights now. So if I go over to display pages over here, this is the one we just set up right here, so I might move it over here like this. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a few more of these widgets over here in the widgets category, out like so. And now if I want to link these to the individual tags, here's the magic to widgets. I simply go to the first one and I right click on the first guy. And the third thing from the bottom is bind widget. Click on bind widget. And now I just take the appropriate folder of all the tags that I want to link to and drag and drop it onto the target symbol. So I'll take the first av like so. Watch this. I grab the whole folder of first av and drop it on the target symbol. Boom. There's that one. Now I'll do the second one. I'll right click on it. Bind widget. I'll take the second av of folder of stuff, drag and drop it on the target symbol. Boom, there it is. Go to the third one, bind widget. I'll grab the third one for here. That one's done. And this last one would be bind widget on this one, the fourth av. And that's all it takes to basically set up widgets. In this case, uh, this simple one. If I double click on each one of these, actually, I'm sorry. If I do this, click one time and right click and go to properties and then go to the data tab, you'll see there's the appropriate tags for that folder all linked up. So uh, anyway, that's a quickie on the uh, stoplight demo that I've been doing in class. If you got any questions, uh, feel free to uh, send me an email, uh, wazoo at adcreps.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.